Hi, I'm Nancy Quinn. I'm really glad that you joined me and Penny today for High Noon Tea. I have a really good recommendation for you today. As you can tell, we're kind of bundled up. I woke up this morning and it was 38 degrees. It's supposed to be summer and I hope it is where you are, but after all, this is Montana. So we decided that we wanted something really warm and I have this Bigelow lemon ginger tea. Uh, it's, it's a recent find for me and I'm really enjoying it, especially when the weather is still cold for us. So I hope you decide to give that one a try. And if you do, let me know if you like it. I just found it in the grocery store, so it isn't hard to find. Now, it has been so cold and wet and honestly rather miserable outside, but I do have an upside to the bad weather. I was out looking in our pond, that little one that you have seen before by uh, the patio, and I noticed something moving in the water, and this little frog popped up. And I was so surprised because I don't really know how a frog found its way onto the side of the mountain. And we did a little research and it's a Columbia spotted frog. And even though they are common to Montana, our creek is quite a ways from the house. And I was really surprised and was wondering how in the world he managed to come all the way up here. And I talked to a biologist about it and he was rather surprised as well, but he had a, a pretty reasonable explanation. And he thought that because we have had so much wet weather, that the frogs can travel long distances and that he actually may have come up the side of the mountain because the grass is wet or maybe there's little marshy areas. And as long as he could stay wet, he just made his way on up here. And of course, when he saw our place, he probably thought it was the Hotel Hilton or something and he just popped right in and he's been living there ever since. So we tentative, tentatively named him Fred and I put it out through social media and people began putting out names and offering suggestions. So I, I offered this little, little contest uh, through my Facebook group and we had so many fun suggestions. Let me read a couple of them to you. One lady said that she wanted to call him Legs and there was Ribbit, Frida, Geronimo, Kermit, that one really caught the attention of my kids. I couldn't decide, and so I turned the decision over to my family, and they decided to call him Kermit J. Frog, and the J is for Jerome, which was another suggestion that came to us. So not only does this frog have a new name and a new home, but I have to tell you he's becoming really pampered because we found some rocks and we put them along the edge of the pond and we installed some new furniture for him. <laughs> and he loves it. Uh, I, he, he comes up and sits on them and I know he's hoping that the sun will come out and he can sunbathe, but, but when it does, he'll, he'll have everything in place. It'll be just right for him. So I think he's gonna end up staying through the summer. He certainly has no interest in going anywhere else at the moment. Well, I guess that's about the news that we have for today. I don't think Penny has any news to add. So I will see you again very soon on the next High Noon Tea. I have something really special planned. I am asking that if you enjoy these videos, that you subscribe to the channel because it does help my videos be seen and circulate. So I really do hope that you decide to subscribe and join my YouTube family. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again really soon. Bye.